Guys, so you've been using Trello, using it as, as a tool, and you've been wanting to get rid of a board. You're like, how the heck do I do that? Get the board out of my way so it's not in my way. Well, I couldn't figure it out either, so let me show you real quick. It's not too difficult once you know how to do it. So you're on the board. Here's a board that I have right here on Trello. Side note, if you don't use Trello, get out there and use it. Awesome tool. Um, I don't get paid to say that, but it is a super cool tool. So when you're on the board, you got to go way over here to these three dots over here. Click on that, and down here you will see the option to close the board. Now, don't get worried at any time if you need to. You can actually reopen the board, uh, and it tells you right here, you can reopen the board by clicking the boards menu from the header, selecting view closed boards, finding the board, and clicking reopen. So how cool is that? It's kind of like archiving the board. Um, so on the board, you know, different cards, you can archive them and, and save them. I, don't, I guess they call it closing a board. I'm fine with that. That's totally cool, no problem with me. But that's what you would do. So if you want to get rid of that board so it gets out of your way, close the board, you're done with it, you're not using it anymore, that is what you would do. And... That's all you need. That was it. Literally like a minute of showing you how to uh, close the board. Cool. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Please, if you liked it, hit the like button. Subscribe if you'd like to get more videos like this from me. You can even hit the little bell notification icon to actually get notified every time those videos come out. And so, so I believe that life and business is one great adventure, and I would really love to journey that with you. So I think that we shouldn't just think outside the box, but we should completely destroy the box. So below in the description, you'll find some links, a couple of resources, a couple of free eBooks, ways to make money online, as well as how to connect with me. And I would also love for you guys to pop a comment down below. I'd really love to keep in touch with you. Take care. Thank you.